Hi everyone, welcome back to Shorty on the Fly. Today's pattern is the Easy Prince Nymph. It is a scaled down, a little bit easier version of the famous uh, Prince Nymph. Uh, it's a little bit easier to work with for a beginner who doesn't quite have those pesky biots down yet. Uh, but it's got exactly the same color profile, and I was skeptical about it, but this one catches fish. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using a number 12 nymph hook today with a gold bead and I've already got that on the hook. Uh, I'm also going to weight this with a little bit more um, 0 0.020 lead wire. Uh, it, it, it helps to both weight it and keep the bead on the hook as well. So I'm going to take 10 wraps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just snap that off with my thumb and then shove the whole assembly into the bead. That'll keep everything in place. And we're going to put a hot spot on this today. So I'm using orange 70 denier thread. It's going to take a couple of wraps right behind where the lead is and then I'm going to wrap over it to keep it in place. I know some people like to put uh, super glue on the hook before you do that. I've done that too, but this works just as well for me. You go over that a couple times and that is not going anywhere. So then we're going to come in and snip away the waste. And here's where we start to deviate from the original. For the tail, I'm using brown Zelon, and I'm going to attach that in that little space just behind where the lead was. And I want to make sure I keep that on top of the hook. Okay. Just run it back to the, when you thread back to the bend and then snip it off. So it's about half the length of the shank of the hook. There we go. And the next thing that goes on is going to be some French tinsel in gold. This is the oval kind, and this is a small, size and again I'm going to try to get that right behind where the lead is so we don't build up too much bulk. Now here's the next part where we get veer off course from the original. I am going to use for my wing some white Antron and I'm going to tie it in now instead of when you normally do at the end of the fly. And I'm gonna just put that right at the front, right behind the bead and capture it and make sure, I'm gonna pull that back a little bit, make sure that's right on top of the hook shank. Run the thread back over it, all the way, cover it up down by the bend. Now, for the body of this fly, we use um, peacock curl and I'm going to take four strands of peacock curl here and I'm going to I'm going to line them up like that and then I'm going to come in and even up the tips makes them a lot easier to deal with and then I like to keep my body smooth. I'm going to tie it in right back up at the front and run my thread back. You can do open spirals. It's going to, you don't have to cover it all up. It'll be fine, but run it back to the point where you want to make that first wrap and then run your thread back up to the bead. Now we're just going to take and wrap those right around with touching turns up the hook. And you see what has happened is I've created a little bit of a taper by keeping the back end thin and bulking it up as I go forward. Now when I get there, I'm just gonna come in and trap it with my thread, maybe three wraps. You don't wanna use any more than you have to. Um, it tends to build up bulk that you don't want. All right, now I'm gonna lift up. I think I got that a little, there we go. Now I'm going to lift up my tinsel and I'm going to make five wraps of that. I'm not a big fan of counter wrapping. 
Um, I go the same direction. I go with the thread. I find it's just as durable. And then when we get to the front, once again, capture it. And snip away the waste. And now we need a hackle. And I'm using a hen, a hen hackle here in brown. I'm just going to strip away the bottom edge of that and then snip it off. I'm going to come in and tie that right onto the hook. And I, when I'm using uh, soft hackles and hen hackles and so forth, I like to use these plunger style hackle pliers to grab it. I feel like I have a little bit better control over the hackle. And we're just going to make like maybe two wraps with that and that's all we need. Come in and capture that. And snip away the waste. Now just grab that antron and pull it back over the body of the fly. And we'll take a couple wraps to get it in place. And a couple more to build up a little hot spot collar on there. And away we go. And now I'm gonna pull that back and trim it off to be the length of the shank of the hook. Trim away a couple trapped hackle fibers there. And there you have it. That is an easy print snip. And I know, you know, it, it's, it's not the original, but it's got exactly the same color profile and it's a lot easier to deal with. A lot easier. Now we'll get a little whip finish on there. Cut it away and we're finished. As always, if you like, please leave a comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you. I bid you peace.